Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will explain the basic of electronics component relay. Let's get started. We use relays for a wide range of applications such as home automation, cars and bikes, automobiles, industrial applications, do-it-yourself projects, test and measurement equipment, and many more. But what is relay? How a relay works? What are the type of relays? What is a relay used for? Construction of a relay. And types of relays? In this video, we use some relays and make some circuit projects. So keep watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative and practical videos. But first of all, we discuss what is a relay? A relay is an electromechanical device. It can be used to establish an electrical connection. Relays are electrically operated switches that open and close the circuits by receiving electrical signals from outside sources. Relays, they receive an electrical signal and send the signal to other equipment by turning the switch on and off. At the most basic level, relays are a type of switch within an electronic system. They'll receive an electrical signal and carry it forward until handing it off to another component or relay. This differs from traditional manual switches that need to be physically manipulated to control the flow of energy or the operation of a system. Relay Working Principle it works on the principle of electromagnetism. The electromagnetic field that creates the temporary magnetic field is energized when the relay circuit detects the fault current. This magnetic field moves the relay armature to open or close connections. What is a relay used for? The primary purpose of a relay is to protect the electrical system from too high of a voltage or current, allowing the safe operation of any equipment it connects to. They're commonly found in a variety of applications from commercial and industrial uses to home and consumer products. These include lighting control systems, protection systems for electronics, computer interfaces, sensitive appliances, command contactors, control motors, telecommunication, and more. How does a relay work? Relays function using electromagnetic induction. To operate the relay, the coil surrounding the relay's core is energized by electricity from the power source controlling it. As the relay is energized, it creates a magnetic field that attracts the contact and completes the circuit within the relay. This turns on or off the load being controlled. Construction of a relay. Relays can include four types of terminals, coil, common, normally open, and normally closed. The coil, also known as control input, Common pin or connection called COM pin. Normally open connector pin called NO pin. And normally closed pin called NC pin. The coil terminal is generally connected to a low power source that controls the relay switching mechanism. The common terminal functions as the output of the relay and are connected to the circuit that needs to be controlled. Normally open terminals, as their name suggests, are open by default until the relay becomes active while normally closed terminals are closed until the relay activates, at which point they open. Inside the relay, there are two circuits. One is connected to an iron core and is surrounded by a control coil, while the other connects the relay's power source to the load. What is the classification of a relay? Basically, a relay is a device with contacts that opens and closes a switch as the result of an input signal, voltage or current, applied to a coil, Classification of relay can be mainly into two types, mechanical relays and solid state relays. Classification of mechanical relay. Mechanical relays have contacts and use electromagnetic force to mechanically open and close the contacts to turn on off signals, currents, or voltages. Mechanical relays have two types. One, DC relays. Two, AC relays. DC relays. DC relays designed to operate with a DC input. AC relays. AC relays designed to operate with an AC input. Classification of SSR relay. SSR relay do not have the mechanical moving parts that mechanical relays with contacts do. Instead, they consist of semiconductors and electronic parts. SSR relay turn on off signals, currents, or voltages electronically by the operation of these electronic circuits. Electrical relay contact types. SPST Single pole single throw The most basic and straightforward contact type With just one pole, SPST relays can control just one circuit It can only exist in an open or closed state 
only one of which will conduct SPDT single pole double throw. A slight modification of the SPS relay. With SPDT relays, a single pole can swing between two positions, usually a normally closed and normally open terminal, both of which will conduct. However, SPDT relays still control just one circuit at a time. DPST double pole single throw can be thought of as two paired SPST relays. While it can operate two separate circuits individually, each can only be set to an open or closed position, one of which will conduct. DPD to double pull double throw allows for the control of two separate circuits, both of which can be set to one of two conductive positions. This makes them the most flexible of the major types of relays. Types of relays. There are a variety of different types of relays for a variety of different uses. The three most commonly used types are electromechanical relays, EMR, solid state relays, SSR, and reed relays. Electromechanical relay electromechanical relays are the most basic type of relay. They function using the standard electromagnetic coil that can manipulate the movable contact. However, this physical motion can take longer and leads to internal arcing, which can degrade the relay over time. Solid state relay. A solid state relay operates using a semiconductor that controls the relay switching mechanism. This is done using a low voltage optical signal from the semiconductor, which when triggered allows the operation of the controlled higher voltage load. Solid state relays are known for their quick operation and comparably long life compared to electromechanical alternatives. The main downside of solid state relays is the additional heat they generate through the operation of the semiconductor, which can cause issues or require built-in solutions to prevent overheating. Reed relay. Reed relays also operate on an electromechanical basis at their core, but use a modified design to reduce or eliminate common EMR problems. They're made up of two magnetic metal blades suspended inside a tube of inert gas with a coil when the coil energizes, the two blades are attracted to one another, completing the circuit. This prevents some of the wear and tear that shortens the lifespan of typical EMR relays. Still, they're slower and can't handle as high a current as SSR switches. However, there are also other types of relays available with varying uses and features. A time delay relay will wait a specified period from receiving its initial signal to trigger the switch, either to open or close the circuit. There are also types like the enclosed relay and socket relay, among other more specialized versions. No matter what type of relay you need, there's no better choice than the high-quality relays of Varus. View Varus relays and get started on designing a better, safer electrical system today. A simple introductory guide on relays. We learned what is relay and how it works by taking a look at the internals of a typical electromechanical relay. We also listed out some of the different types of relays and also few applications of relays. Finally, we saw different ways to test a relay. Thanks for watching. I hope you learn and enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos.